The home decor business on Zazzle is one of the most profitable businesses in the general category. It's because people buy expensive homes, so why not decorate them? And home decor is all about home decorations and beauty. You can say that home decor is a need for and a primary urge for every homeowner. To start this business, you have two options. You can do everything yourself, start everything from scratch, or better partner with B2B home decor providers like Zazzle. In this video, we are going to explain to you how to run your own home decor business on Zazzle. But what is Zazzle, and how can you start your home decor business with it? Let's find out. What is Zazzle? Zazzle is an online marketplace that allows users and creators to connect and collaborate while staying on the Zazzle platform. Zazzle works like a middleman between the customer and the seller. It allows the creator to sell their home decor products by posting their items on the listing page of the main website. On the other hand, the customer can buy that product directly from the creator through their website. It's that easy! How does Zazzle work? Zazzle's platform is easy to understand. It all starts with the seller. Sellers create an account on Zazzle and publish their products on the main listing page. The customer visits Zazzle and buys any home decor product they like. The purchased product is then directed to the corresponding seller, and the seller fulfills and ships the product. In the end, users get their product and the seller earns money for selling it. Zazzle also charges a percentage of the product cost as the commission for providing their efficient platform. That's how this whole chain and cycle works. How to start a home decor business on Zazzle? You can quickly start your own home decor business on Zazzle without any fuss. How? Here's a brief guide. Number 1. Choose your niche. You can work randomly on Zazzle. This strategy might sound like in this way, I'll cover up all categories but it's a failed strategy on the long term. Therefore, it's better to stick with a specific niche. The home decor category contains a lot of subcategories, for example, print and demand mats, wall art, frames, table decorations, and full floor decor fall under the subcategory of home decor. Choose your subcategory and stick with it. It will help with SEO ranking and save your investment from spending too much money on unnecessary projects. After doing market research and Google such trends, you can make your choice. Set up a budget. You're planning to do business on Zazzle, so you need an investment. It's not like a 100% free business. The only investment you'll require is the arrangement of products, shipping, and fulfillment. You can say you'll handle and invest in the offline side of your business while Zazzle takes care of the online part of your business for you. Zazzle does offer shipping services, but it's too expensive, and they charge in advance for shipping. Therefore, it's better to go with other low-cost shipping options like the post office or private budget shippers. Number 3. Set up your Zazzle account. Now, you've got to set up your account on Zazzle, including the sign-up and all the conventional steps. Number 1. Sign up on Zazzle with your active phone number, email, and password. Number 2. Verify your ID. Number 3. Set up and customize the preferences. Number 4. Manage and customize other essential things to set up your account. Number 4. Manage the SEO. Without SEO, working on Zazzle is like shooting in the dark. SEO determines the ranking of your product on the SERPs of Zazzle searchers. Google SEO equals better rankings, which means more visibility and more sales. For a correct SEO strategy, the criteria are easy. Make sure to use 3 to 4 high quality and crystal clear images that are non blurry and non faded. Try to use white background images. Write the product description to use the product's name at least 4 to 5 times. Don't fill in too many keywords, do it naturally. Make sure that the product's description doesn't have any mistakes. Don't use too light or too heavy images. Too light photos will give a signal or a pixelated image and two heavy ones will increase the loading time, which is lousy SEO. Make sure to use the product's name at the start of the title. Keep the title as short as possible. Number 5. Heavy Patience Stay patient after doing everything on your side. It's not like you'll get orders overnight. It takes time, effort, patience, and consistency. Thousands or even millions of sellers are already doing their business on Zazzle. Therefore, you need to compete with them, which takes time, effort, and patience. Continue to improve your profile, stay on top of trends, offer competitive pricing and provide better service than your competitors, and your efforts will pay off sooner or later. Number 6. Build Customer Relationship After you cross all the above challenging stages and start receiving orders, congrats, you are at a good point. The next step is to build customer relationships because starting a business isn't hard, but managing the customer relationship is the challenge in what we call the business. Here are some helpful hints for developing positive customer relationships with your Zazzle customers. Packaging and shipping. Do you know that delivering an order later than promised destroys customer satisfaction? And 60% of customer satisfaction was damaged because of inadequate and rough packaging. 
That's why you should always take these two things very seriously. It's the first and most important thing your customer will see about your business. Always offer good quality and high safe packaging while consistently delivering your orders on time. Otherwise, don't dare think about a good customer relationship. It's because time is essential for everyone. No one wants to wait for your order unless you offer compensation for the late delivery, which can be a loss for your company, so it's better to deliver on time and with good packaging. Pay close attention to customer reviews. When customers consider a purchase, they often turn to online reviews to understand what others think about a product or service. For businesses, this makes online reviews an essential part of their reputation. You may attract new customers by posting positive reviews, while negatively reviewed pages may scar off potential customers. Moreover, online reviews can contribute to a higher search engine ranking, increasing your chances of being found by prospective customers. As a result, it is essential to take time to monitor and respond to online reviews. By paying attention to what customers are saying, you can make your business more successful and build a better reputation. Offer lower pricing possible. Offer lower pricing can be a powerful strategy for any business. By providing lower prices, you not only stand out from your competition but also open up a wider pool of potential customers. In addition, lowering your costs can help drive sales and profits by encouraging customers to purchase more products or come back more frequently. Furthermore, when the price is the primary factor affecting customer decisions, this creates a situation where companies have greater flexibility in setting prices. Given these advantages, it is clear that offering lower pricing is always the best strategy for businesses that want to succeed in today's changing marketplace. Offer superior customer support. Good customer support is one of the most important things you can do to ensure the better growth of your business. By building solid relationships with your customers, you can make them feel valued and trustworthy. You can provide customer support in several ways. Some businesses offer phone services while others offer offline and online chats and emails. Whatever method you choose, you must ensure that your customers are getting the proper help. Don't beg your customers to buy from you. Instead of relying on begging or convincing tactics, you should strive to deliver an unbeatable product or service on its merit. By focusing on providing the highest quality goods and services possible and providing reliable customer care, businesses can ensure that their buyers will be happy and satisfied with their products regardless of how they are marketed or sold. This approach benefits businesses by attracting more buyers without resorting to manipulative techniques. But it also helps customers by giving them what they genuinely want and need. It is only through high quality offerings and dedication that you can truly thrive in the competitive marketplace of Zazzle. Let's sum up. Now, you know all about creating your home decor store on Zazzle's website. From choosing a name and theme for your store to uploading designs, Zazzle makes it easy for anyone willing to capitalize on the every popular home decor market. If you're looking to start a career selling home decor products, why not start today on Zazzle? We hope you appreciated the content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss on future uploads. See you in the next video.